Okay, today we're going to be installing our very first program. So we're going to create a, an actual program and uh, using C++. So the course that I've actually used to do this, I've talked about it before, it's the Beginner C++ Programmer Programming from Beginner to Beyond. That's the program I'm using to learn C++. I recommend you use it as well or get it as well. So we're going to head over to Code Light, and then we're going to do some code. So the program we're going to run is a, a program that calculates square footage. Basically, we're inputting data, say like 10 times 50, and that's going to put 500 is what our square foot is going to be. So that's the program we're going to build. Like I said, we're going to start off, we're in Code Light. We're going to enter in code light. We're going to first go, we're going to do a hash and then include. We're going to type that in. Then we're going to do a greater than sign and we're going to type in uh, IO stream. Okay. And we'll. Let me actually just paste the code in and then talk about it. So if you're on my site, GaryMcNeilandIT.com, you're going to click on GitHub. Scroll down a little bit, you'll see a link to my GitHub site. The repository is the is called C++. Scroll down a little bit. It's the Calculate Square Foot is the program we're going to run. We're just going to copy and paste this and make it easy. Easy button, please. Easy button initiated. Let me explain a couple things with this. First, you have the include IO stream, then you have the using namespace standard, and you have your, you're going to initialize the program. So essentially, every hearing here that I have highlighted here, that's the program itself. This is the initialize, and this is the program, and this is the return zero if it's good. You know, if not, it will return something else. Now, mind you, this was in, I think, section six that I had this of the course. And although I don't, I don't fully understand all of this, how it works, I have a pretty good idea. Here we go. I know this much. You have your C out. So the C out, I always use the, when I, when I, when I know what the way the, the thing goes this way or that way, here's what I remember, C out. So I say out, out. And that's how I know it's it's the slash slash that way. Or I'm sorry, the greater than symbol going basically from left to right. That's how I know it's C out. So that means, hey, I'm, I'm going to first display this. And then you have, you got to initialize the room width, which is like, hey, um, that's a variable. I'm going to input some data there. Then you have a C in, which is you're actually going to type something in here is what it's talking about. Hey, type something in because I've initialized it. Again, this is a program and I'm in level, so this is one of the programs that we're learning in section six. So this is, everything you see here is the instructor teaches you. He taught me anyway. And although I don't understand completely all of it, I just want to let everybody know how fun it was to create it. I mean, I actually get to input data. So when I just compile this, so you have this program here, right? And then you right click on it and you compile. Compile, imagine a Hmm, bunch of leaves. This is not really a good analogy, but I'll, you, I'll just tell you what my analogy is, how I remember it. A bunch of leaves, leaves you put together, a bunch of leaves you put together, and you're compiling them, almost like you're compacting them. That's how I view it. Obviously, I have some errors here, um, so I have to fix those. And what is wrong with my program here? So when I try to compile it, I got some errors. One of the errors was seven 
45, error of missing terminating character, 45. And you see that it has um, this symbol right here. So it just means I need to put that in like that. That should work. What's the other one? Number seven, nine. Oh, nine, yeah. Just clear. Please, right. What's the number nine? Okay, what am I missing there? Oh, room length. So it's spelled wrong, actually. L E N G T H. So that should take care of that. And finally, because that was wrong, this will be wrong. So I'll recompile this. Okay, all is well. We don't have any errors. Let's run it now. So we're going to go build, then run. It's going to ask me to enter the width of the room. I'm going to say 500. It's a big room, right? What's the length of the room? I'm going to say 200. Okay. The, area of your, the area of your room is 10,000 square feet. Now the output is, now the output is, the area of your room is 10, rather 100,000 square feet. And when I push enter, it'll close it. What does that mean? Initialize room width. I inputted the room width. That's saved now. Basically, it's saved. Uh, then another thing. Hey, uh, please enter the length of the room. Okay. And okay, enter the room length. Okay, good. Initialize room length. Okay. Enter the room length. And then output would be the area of the room is room width times room length. So end L, return zero. So that's my first program I've pretty much built without the hello world, basically. So feel pretty awesome about that. A lot of programmers, you're new into programming. Everybody really needs that, that, that first aha moment, that first I did it moment. And this, this is what did it for me. Thanks for viewing the channel, viewing the show. TV, YouTube, rather. Thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe somewhere down here, down there, up here, up there to the channel.